From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In the first episode of this series, we explored the conflicting accounts of the crash event near Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. The U.S. government claimed responsibility for the wreckage, stating that experimental high-altitude weather balloons had crashed during testing. Not everyone bought the official story, and in the decades since the crash, numerous people have claimed that the United States covered up an extraordinary accident, the crash of a genuine extraterrestrial craft. And the story doesn't end there. According to ufologists such as William L. Moore, the Roswell crash fundamentally changed the government's attitude toward UFOs. They claim President Truman didn't just know that aliens crash-landed in New Mexico. They believe he also established a top-secret committee to understand this threat and kept it a secret for 40 years. Here's where it gets crazy. In 1987, William Moore and two colleagues released documents regarding a group called Majestic 12. According to these documents, President Truman created the top secret group to assess the evidence of the Roswell crash, along with another incident, and to create national security recommendations. The documents contain repeated statements arguing that the craft are extraterrestrial in origin and perhaps short-range reconnaissance vehicles. These reports contain a thorough summary of the events near Roswell. They also mention another incident on the border of Texas and Mexico, where a similar craft was mostly incinerated when it crashed. One report claims that it is virtually certain that these craft do not originate in any country on Earth, and goes on to speculate that the craft may have originated from Mars or perhaps another galaxy. This particular report closes by arguing that the incidents must remain classified, recommending taking the strictest security precautions to avoid a public panic. More documents purporting to confirm the existence of MJ-12 have surfaced, some as recently as 1994. If these papers are genuine, then they would be the so-called smoking gun of the search for UFOs. However, not everyone is convinced that these reports are legitimate. Skeptics believe that all or most of these documents are definite hoaxes and point to William Moore's work on other disinformation campaigns as proof of his deceit, as well as citing various errors of format and tone in the text. Does Majestic 12 actually exist, or is it all some elaborate hoax? And if the Majestic 12 story is a disinformation campaign, then who is in charge, and what is it that they don't want you to know? Stay tuned for part three of our series.